Hi everyone, in this video, I'll be talking about an issue most of the users who are working on Mac operating system come across while accessing virtual desktops or virtual applications while connecting to the Citrix environment. So issue goes like this. So users, when they try to log into the Citrix storefront portal, and when they try to launch the virtual desktop, they just see a white color screen okay they just see a white color screen and after a few seconds the screen disappears so basically the users would not be able to launch the virtual desktop completely so it seems like the machine is trying to launch but it just shows the white color screen for a few seconds and the screen disappears so this happens on this happens on mac operating system so i'll, I'll show you some uh, steps that we can follow to resolve this issue so if you are a Mac user, what you can do is you can open system preferences first. OK, you can open system preferences on your machine, on your Mac OS machine. So once you go to system preferences, OK, once you go to system preferences, you see various options, your personal hardware, Internet and network system. So you see an option called sharing here. OK, you see an option called sharing. So please click on sharing. OK, so once you click on sharing, you see computer name here. You see computer name. It depends upon the Mac OS version that you're using currently. You see computer name here. What you need to do is if the computer name is blank, if you have not given any computer name on your Mac OS machine, you need to give a specific name, whatever it is user friendly. You can give that name. And if there is any checkbox or something next to your computer name under under computer name if there is any checkbox that need to be checked please make sure that you check that box if there is no checkbox forget about it if there is a checkbox please check that box as well after mentioning the computer name after mentioning the computer name and save the changes click ok or save the changes once that is done once that is done just try to try to connect to the Citrix environment again, log in and try to launch the virtual desktop. OK, try to launch the virtual desktop or virtual applications and see how it goes. It should mostly resolve the issue. It should mostly resolve the issue and you should be able to launch the virtual desktop without any problem. But after performing this step, if you still have some issues launching the, uh, you know, virtual desktop in that case, what you can do is you can look for the you know, latest version of uh, Citrix workspace for Mac operating system that you can find on Google. Just just go to Google and type uh, Citrix workspace. Citrix workspace download and it will take you to this particular screen. OK, and you can look for the Citrix workspace software for the Mac operating system. OK, so it will you will see the screen. You will see the screen. You need to log in first. Once you log into the Citrix portal, you will see the screen and you can download the you can download the uh, software for Mac operating system. OK, you need to download the software for the Mac operating system. And once you download, you can install the software. After installing the software, you can try to launch the application and see how it goes. OK, try to launch the application and see how it goes. So you need to download the app for you need to download the app for Mac. OK, you need to download it for Mac operating system, but not for Windows operating system. So after downloading it, install it. After installing it, restart the computer. OK, restart the computer and try it again and see how it goes. So this should mostly help to resolve this issue. So this is the second solution. The first thing is change the computer name. If that doesn't work, change uh, download the latest version of Citrix workspace for Mac OS. Install it, restart the computer and test it and see how it goes. OK, I really hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.